Welcome everyone. Stop laughing, Sam, you absolute helmet cheese. Welcome to Brighton. This is the marina. Oh, actually, boys, this bit might be part of the marina car park. We might have been out of park here for free. Really? Yeah, but you need the exercise, Sam, so shut up, Winjin. And he definitely needs the exercise. Like he's waddling along like a penguin. This is the furthest Mark's walk since 1984. Um, sorry, sorry, everyone. Welcome. Yeah, you can go up there, yeah. So, so today is Sunday. It's late on in the afternoon. These two people have dragged me out of my nice warm cozy house into the rain to Brighton um, we have some fresh blacks we have some rag I'd say fresh but it's been in my front room for three days seen in my tackle box and I forgot about it but it's still alive what you say Mike? it stinks of piss in here we are walking through Brighton's public toilet um, today we're going to fish the west wall because why not we normally fish the east but these two couldn't make it from the car to well, the east without mm, dying yeah uh, we all know that's true with Sam. Um, so yeah, um, I'm sure today's going to be eventful. I will bring you back when we're fishing. In a bit. Son. First, uh, first trap, literally, we're just set up. Sam's got a little place. Frozen blacks? Yes. There you go, frozen blacks. I've put my drop net tonight. Reason being, there's been a couple of hounds and some rays and that come off of the piers. We're in very close. We're fishing this, we're fishing this finger ground. And, uh, well, I've just walked to the end and I can see a big spider crab sitting on the floor. So I've dropped my drop net down. I've just pulled up three spider crabs, actually. I'm looking for some spider peelers because there are, oh, that was me. That was me, I kicked here. There are some spider peelers around. Um, I know the lads off of here that have been fishing have been using fresh peelers, that they've, uh, fresh spider peelers that they've picked up themselves. So that's the plan. Um, I've got a loop rig out and I've got a boom rig out on one, but a bit later on I will use the, oh, I've got another rod. You haven't seen this one yet, but it's just an, a Dawa AWB129. What a rod. It's been around for centuries, millenniums. It's loved by everyone, apart from Mike, because Mike's a tit. Um, but yeah, what it's a cracking, cracking rod. So yeah, we will um, we'll put a bigger rig on that later with a bigger hook, and, and I've actually got a couple, I've got a couple of peelers in my bag, but don't tell Sam and Mike. Um, they're only small, but yeah, I've got a few peelers. Um, I've, I've been out of the game and I for a while, so um, I haven't been out looking for peelers or nothing. I haven't really done anything, so we're uh, literally just been working, spending a bit of time with the family. So yeah, we, we sort of well, this little bay. Um, a couple of lads up there are um, watchers of the channel, so big shout out to them. Um, hopefully you'll be watching this one, boys. I'm sure we'll get you with a fish a bit later on. They're waiting for the mackerel though. Obviously, in a bit. Bosh, still got it. Still catch place on a bone rig and all off the bottom. It's the top hook of the bone rig. That ain't meant to happen, but oh well. First truck, first fish, lovely jubbly. Look what Westy's got, look. New rod. Oh, oh I'm not gonna, I'm not, yeah, go on, I'm not gonna, yeah, yeah, go on, that's a, that's a, that's a score. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show too much, but this is the newest rod on the market. Um West is trying it out. What are you saying? Well I've only had one cast, I can't really say much, but it flies. <laughs> yeah. It flies. It's light, very light at all. That that is that is a, a true inspirational speech. It flies. Top of the range uh, thingy there. Right. I'm gonna unlock this little fella. Oh he's got a dodgy towel look. Look, he's got a little kink in it. I'm gonna unlock this little fella up, get him back, and then I'll pull the net up and I'll show you what we got in the net in a bit. Right, I'm gonna pull the net up, guys. Sam's gonna take over the camera. So excuse the finger in the way of the lens. Excuse the camera up the wrong way. You quite finished? Lines, quite, I couldn't care about your lines. This is, this is the fish hunter show, not, not the Sam check my line show. Shut up, get on with it. See the, see the boost off, aren't we? Yeah. Can we make sure we point the camera at the right thing as well? You know, just, just saying. <sighs> Watch there be nothing this time. No, I've caught them all. You've caught all of Brighton's. I've caught, I've caught all the spider, Brighton spider crabs and I've got them all back and they didn't want to touch my bluey. So just quickly, this is it. So all we've got in there is an old lead. Oh, there's a socket in there too, because it's been in my shed. And a bit of bluey and a little bit of netting. And then this is the, the, the top tip how to do drop netting is this. Drop net, rope, bosh. Bye. 
this, Sorry. And this Sorry. Filled the salt water out. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Sorry. Got my little setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, uh, Six cans of coke. obviously, this is the most important part. Yep. This bit. Yep. Oh, 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 and this bit. Yep. And then um, over here, come, come. Oh, come, follow me. We have the, uh, the Fish Hunter UK sieve knife that is uh, a Brighton Marina knife today. We have the other half of the bluey. We have a little carp lid. I don't, I don't know why we've got this, but we've got it. In here, we have some top secret ragworm that we're not telling Sam about. In yeah. There. We've got some black lugworm. They're nice blacks. And then the biggest top secret of all is we've got some we've got a couple of fresh peelers that we're definitely, definitely not telling Sam about. Is that alright Sam? It's fine. Right, sweet. So Sam is not so everyone else, keep quiet about these. These are gonna go on a bigger rig a bit later on. And uh well I'm gonna catch a smooth out. I'm calling it now. Alright? Right, that's that. Right guys, so remember, top secret, don't tell Sam. Let's go and see what Mike's doing. Oh, hello Sam, I didn't see you there. Oh! Hello mate. You're keeping secrets from me? No, I'm not keeping any secrets from you. Would I, would I keep a secret from you, love? Yes. Right, so I've just come over to see Mr. Seaglow. He even says on his back, look. Oh, sorry, Mike, can you, ask the, uh, can you ask the viewers, tell the viewers what it is you've just asked me for? No. I think you should. No, I don't think I should. So, so Mr. Seaglow, look, he's all Seaglowed up. Look, he's even got Seaglow Nike trainers on. Um, Mr. Se he's even got Seaglow leads, look. No, 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 they're sea, sea weights. Sea you can't say that, I did wrong. So what are they? Sea weights. They're sea weights. Well, yeah, yes. Obviously, they're sea weights. You wouldn't no, use them in carp fishing, would you? S-E-A, C as in letter C, weights. Oh, sorry. Right, so they're sea weights. Curly cur, not kicking cur. So, Mr. Seaglow, Mr. Green and Black Place Balls, man. Has just asked me for some because he hasn't bought none with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you pull that hat over your head in shame. I've got like 5,000 made up in my house as well. Ready to go to Vills or someone? Yeah, Vills, so I've had to use ones that I never bought out. Let's see. Top secret ones. What ones are they then? Uh, half what? ultraviolet and half Lumi. Ultra Lumi. So, guys, get on the website and keep requesting and he'll bring them out. We'll see if they catch fish. It'd even make you them trainers if you want as well. <laughs> They're on wish too. <laughs> right. In a bit, I know, yeah, half hour. In a bit, guys, in a bit. You've got mackerel there, mate. You've got mackerel as well. Mackerel on your pop up. Sweet. Mackerel in a place. West is fishing pop ups. Where's these fishing pop-ups? He's got a mackerel. So you've done this at Seaford, Mike, didn't you? He was catching mackerel. Well, at least we've got a bit of fresh bait. Cheers, Mike. Lovely. Sam, grab that one. Don't want to scratch this one up. Can't bring it. I'd love to help, but I'm filming. I just think it's funny watching you struggle. In true Top Gear style, I'll see you in a bit. Look at that, look. Oh, they're the new pop-ups at all, Mike, aren't they? Yeah, I've got a speak bag in a minute. Oh, okay. But yeah, they're the new bullet ones. What? Right. That's a size 8 Cattuccino. Ooh, it's got a mackerel. Is that going on his life, mate? Uh, I don't know, I've just put mackerel rig on now. We'll keep that for some fresh bait. Yeah, we'll keep, definitely keep that for fresh bait. You'd be silly to put What's it back. What's going on here? Dodgy rigs, mate. Do you know what you're doing? West has got a bit, so he's got that mackerel there, guys. Shut that over. The mackerel, that way. That's that over, other way. This way? Yep. Yeah? There we go. Good. Lovely. Right, guys, I'm going to let Mike do his bit of recording and I'll, uh, I'll bring you back in a bit. Well done, Westy. Right, guys, so this is fish chasing at its best. Can you see my green lead there? Right, so I'm this far away. You can't really see the line because it's fluoro. I've got a tiny little size 6 Chinoo sea glow hook. Look, still got the same point as all the other hooks, but it's very, very small. Little tiny bit of squid. So, down on fluorocarbon, £20 fluoro, down to two of Westy's new. Um, Sorry, Sea Glow's new um, bullet pop ups, when it focuses, look, as you can see, lovely little things. And that is just literally tied on a five ounce, you, you earthy, earthy lead, continental style, Sea Glow green, obviously, and that just, that just slides up and down on there. So now, what that'll do, that will sit, that obviously, the lead will at the bottom, it will move about a bit, but that will sit about five foot off the bottom, which is ideal for them mackerel, for bream, for 
garfish, anything that doesn't necessarily always feed on the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I have had a bite on the continental rod as well because it's definitely pulling down. Yeah, that's a spider crab, I reckon. So let me cast this out and then I'll bring you back and show you what's on that in a bit. Yeah, you need to. You got scales? Oh, oh. God, the size of that. That's what she said. Oh, oh, oh. you saw the bite me. That is a monster. <laughs> get out the net. Let's put them together. Oh my god, what are they? They're gobies. Well, let me get them back first. Look, look, guys, we've been catching fish, catching little gobies. I'm in there. Hang on, one there. Oh, that one's got a gut on him. It looks like mine. <laughs> look at that, boys. <laughs> Size of it. That is a thumbnail one off that if I've ever seen right, one. Right, let me take a photo. I'd love, I would love to see how much that weighs. But scales? Oh, I might have. I might have. Hold well, on. Right, let me pause this. Come here, right. Mike. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it might, it might hold. Go on. Hold. Oh, look at that, £4.10. £4.10! Quick foot drops done about it. £4.10, that is. That. That, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I bet it's a nice meat in that though. That is that's well, and it's a male. So that is an edible crab. I mean, that is a crab you could you could easily take home and eat if you wanted to. Um, I think if I took this home, I'd be sleeping in my car. <laughs> right, there you go. Another place, boys and girls. You know what? It's turned out to be a nice little session. Really nice little session. First proper session in a very very long time for me. Look at that, look. Beautiful markings. Lovely hooked. Really well hooked. He's literally just hooked in there. Come on, mate. <laughs> Will it come off the sea glow hook? Mm, no. I'm going to have to put my phone down and, uh, and I know you can probably enjoy him back. I don't want to drop him back down there. There's big, big crabs down there. What a clonker that crab was, eh? Right. I'll, um, I'll bring you back. Sam, you never know. Sam might actually catch a fish today. Oh, no. oh yeah, but that was ages ago, Sam. That was, that was, I oh, know, that was like an hour ago's news. Is that another fish, Mike? Oh, you, no. Yeah? Let me just pause you guys. And I'll get this fish unhooked and I'll bring you back. No. Oh. You get to see me. I never do it like this. Hi Sam, it's pissing hard now. It's enough of my ugly mug. Um, yeah, well I need to get this rig back out. Westy did have it look like a foul look mackerel on his little pop-up rig, but it came off. Um, oh well. We'll, uh, we'll get some more. Well guys, look at this, look. There's a spider crab running away, look. There's a little spider crab running away. Here we've got a little baby pout. Let's get him back. Um, here we've got... That is a, is that a pat? No, that's a pollock. I'm just, I'm saying that's a pollock. I'm calling it. Could be a pout, but I'm calling it a pollock anyway. It's a baby pollock. Spider crab, spider crab. Um, bit of aluminium. Ah, oh, that one. No, the other one was a patting because that one is a pollock. Look at that little baby thing. Look, this this netting malarkey is more fun than actually fishing. What else we got in here? Oh, we got another little fish in here. These are going to be bait, I reckon later. That's a pout. That's a pout. Hey, what else have we got anymore? That's a lead and a socket. All on a little bit of bluey. How much fun is this? Right, let's get these little things untangled because they're tangled up in my knitting and I will see you guys in a bit. Right guys, seeing all them little fish has, uh, well, it's, it's brought me to the conclusion I need to do some live baiting. So, how I'm gonna do my live baiting off of here is, Tie lead straight to my main line. Probably should have put a clip on it, but I'm being lazy. Right, this is what we do. Just a plain lead. And away with the way it Get it out there. Wherever you like, out the way, whatever. I'm just gonna leave that now. Just sitting there. Just a plain lead in the ground. Follow me. Here we have. A 3 0 Sea Glow Chino hook, a bit of fluoro, and a snap link. Now, I would normally use a live bait slider, but I haven't got any, and Mike's not got none with him either. So, what's that? Three foot, 
bit yeah. of fluoro, lovely. We then take the drop net. Oh yeah. Exactly what we want. Put them in a lovely little part. If they are not the per oh, there's my rod, just kick that. If they are not the perfect little light bait, look at these, look. Oh, look at that tiny little one. We're not going to use him. Or him. But that, to me, is absolutely spot on. Now, if you had a bigger one, you'd put it, you'd put an hook for it back, right? Just through there. But because this is quite small, and obviously I don't want it to die yet, I'm going to just knock it through the lip there, through the top, through the bottom, and then just through the top. That is not coming off there over that big barb. And then... sitting there look quite nicely. All I do, pull that line, snap link on, snap link's done, no you do, did you let it slide? Slide away. Slide away. Now, I could have clicked that to any normal rig, and cast it. But the pressure of that casting out would have killed it. Now, one thing I've just realized, I'll probably cast that out a little bit too, too far. far yeah. Because now I'm struggling to get it on the thing. But, let me just see if I can wiggle that a bit further. Or maybe could have stuck a little drilled lead on with it. Just give that a little flick, gently. To be fair, that's in the water now. That'll swim down, do what it likes. I can let a bit of slack out. And even if that is on the bottom where it is, that is absolutely fine. So I'll leave that. Now, follow me again, Sam. Now you can't, there, what's that, Sam? They're all down there, look. What are you talking about? Now I don't know, guys, if you're gonna see this because it's a bit murky. Oh, I don't think you are. Down there are millions and millions and millions of little fish. They're, I can see all the silver flashing. I don't know if you guys can, because the weather, I can't really see through the phone much. There's millions of them. Out there in that lighter patch, where are we looking? I'm not sure, nah. I don't know if you can see the little silver flashes. There's a lot, a lot of baby fish down there, fry. And is that a bigger fish following it through? Oh my God, there's a, Mike, Mike, there's bass underneath this, proper bass. There are big, you can't see them. There's one, two, three. Oh my God, they're huge. Mike, quick, quick, Mike. Are they bass? They could be mullet, actually. I can just about see them. I'm not sure you guys can. Hang on, mate, hang on, where are they gone? No, nope, they're gone. No, nope, they can't be gone, not that quick. They might be mullet, yeah. Hey? Yeah, mate, I've got three rods out. They're all, I keep chopping and changing. I've just got to stick with what I'm doing now and have a, a bit of live bait out. Right, guys, I'm hoping that one of us are going to see something. I've got plenty more live baits in the net, which I haven't put back in the water. Crap. Um, so, I mean, I've got three rods out. I've got another little rod there if I need to use it, but these little fellas we're going to keep in the net. We're going to keep them alive in case in case we get some some live bait action. So yes, hopefully we do. If we don't, we don't. But you've got to give it a go, haven't you? You've got to. And if I do, that will go mad. Absolute. My rod will go off. It's absolute rocker. So yeah, it's all quite exciting to be fair here today in Brighton in the rain. Where else would you rather be? This is exactly it. Right, guys. I'll bring you back if something else interesting happens. <laughs> Take two, everybody. Oh, hold on. We've been recording for 57 minutes somewhere. No, look at me. It's your in, phone. In my pocket, maybe. No, that's what you've got left. What do you mean that's what I've got left? That's what you've got left. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Right, we're back in the car. Oh, I have already done this bit, but I forgot to push record. Don't tell Sam. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's... It's jank. Look at the water, look. It's pissing hard. It's, yeah, we're soaked. Down there, see where them rocks are? There was two monster bass as we was walking back along this wall here, this one right here. We, um, yeah, we, we literally watched them swimming around, playing and eating and, and yeah, having a good time. We, however, didn't have a great time. We had some play, some Mike had a mackerel, I had a huge spider crab, which is definitely a PB. Um, Sam, place. just had a place, yeah. So we're leaving very early, a lot earlier than what we thought we was gonna, but I mean, just look at the rods, look, they're soaked. So yeah, that is that. Is that. Um, thank you for watching. Sam? Sam, would you like to comment on that? <laughs> no? <laughs> Mike, 
No, Mark, Mark, Mark's, Mark's not happy bunny, Mark's wet. And, he, and I made him walk up the stairs. He hasn't done that for 15 years. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will, oh, well, coming fishing tonight made me realize I should have stayed on the sofa for I'll a few more weeks. Look, blue skies, kiss my oh. oh, here we go. Mark, Let's go right, back so the thing is, we was fishing the beginning of the pier, as you saw. Then the pier man come along, went, oh, he yeah, held a big basket caught up the other end. So we went up there and we all lost gear straight away. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty crap. <laughs> I weren't even catching little fish in, in my net. So it wasn't, didn't you? Oh, Mike didn't lose nothing because Mike is, is the expert. Um, but I, I won't even catch a little fisherman net. So to be honest, that was that was the most fun part of today, catching little fisherman net. Is that is that another chocolate bar, Sam? Is it? <laughs> you don't get a share or what? Oh no, that's what I thought. It's a bit of a limit, isn't it? It's just ram two chocolate bars. Just ram two chocolate bars in the cake hole. <laughs> no. Well, chocolate bar hole then. Mind your fingers, mate. We are, Jesus Christ, did you see that, people? <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Um, uh, yeah. I'll see you soon. Much love.